Greetings to you. As churches today become more and more worldly, a terrible evil has infected them with regards to evangelism, which is a focus on giving gifts to those that they are trying to win for Christ. While it's true that giving gifts may be appropriate depending on the needs of people, sometimes it becomes a bribery instead of a real spiritual outreach, and even those of a covetous nature may simply learn to play the system. In Proverbs 19, the Bible tells us that every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. And herein lies the problem when it comes to evangelism. If you're offering a person the riches of mammon in order to preach to them, that is material wealth, out of greed they may go along with it, even to the point of feigning salvation in order to gain more favor from those that are giving them the gifts. Jesus said, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Our Lord also said that no man can serve two masters. It isn't possible for us to serve both God and material riches. It will either be one or the other. Simon the sorcerer had become a believer in Jesus, but when he saw the power the apostles had through the Holy Ghost, he was covetous and offered them money that he might also have such power, to which Peter responded in this way in Acts chapter 8, verses 20 and 21. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. This power of the apostles came from God, bestowed supernaturally of God's own will, and was in no way controlled by men. One time we passed a Christian group that did drug rehabilitation. They were selling things and taking donations. When I asked about their program, they testified that their help for addicts was for addicts, but only if they had made a commitment to Jesus first. To me, that's a bribe, and such people might do or say anything to get the help that they need. It is great to help people in this terrible condition. I don't argue with that, but I don't agree with the method. I still gave them a dollar for their work because people do need help. Another time, I watched a video of, of a professed Christian who is more of a practicing humanist, in my opinion. In this video, he was helping a homeless man who desperately needed new clothes. And he took the man to Walmart and bought him an entirely new outfit. He even like redressed him right there, just kept the the price tags off the item and had them rung up later. It was incredibly thoughtful and generous, yet in the hours he spent with the man, he never testified of Jesus or the need for salvation. And even others had complimented him for his generous act. I don't argue with that, but he never spoke of God's grace in his own life. It became a very, very much a, a, an issue of works and not of Christian grace. So this is yet another danger for Christians in the giving of gifts, that they end up only helping others in a material way, but not spiritually. You see, people love receiving gifts, but they don't so much care for the preaching of the gospel. It condemns them for their sin and demands repentance. We all know that excessive gifts will spoil our children, but it works that way for us too. We've seen it a lot here where people are used to having things handed to them, so much so that they make no allowance to provide for themselves even when they could. This leads to a lot of deception by people to get what they want, and the Christians are expected to give them things without any real questioning. The original giving may have begun from genuine need a long time ago, but then people have become spoiled through excessive gifts and won't turn from it. In Deuteronomy 16, 19, the Bible also warns us not to accept a gift in judgment, for a gift will blind even the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Many times when we see a corrupt government official, it's because they've been taking gifts from someone. In our area of the, of the country of the US, a certain pharmaceutical company was given the contract for a COVID detection kit. It was a couple years ago. I don't remember all the particulars, but this device itself had never been tested. It turned out that this company was recommended by a politician that had received large campaign contributions from them, and the test was a complete flop. If anyone at all has a giving nature in this world, Christians will be among them. We've been recipients of God's grace, and his own Holy Spirit dwells within us. But we need to use the sound mind the Lord has given us for discernment in the actions that we should really be taking, and not just throw money at a problem. Jesus and his disciples were generous, but they stayed away from the material gifts outside of immediate food needs. 
That's the kind of example we need to follow, because unless those we're giving to find the way of salvation, any other kind of help is in vain. Silver and gold have we none, but such as we have, let us give that to the unsaved. May God bless.